the fact that they're so together. Uh, you know, when you go to the training table and they're all eating together and they're off the court, they're having fun off the court and they're hanging together as well. I think that's the most important thing. We have talent, we have experience coming back, um, but if you don't put that all together and have some team you know, unity, then I think you're going to struggle. So that's from my standpoint, a coaching standpoint, I think that's been uh, a, a real good uh, emphasis and, and something that we've been able to see. Mickey Swanigan, obviously in Fort Wayne, we got a chance to see him throughout his high school career. What has he done to impress early, and how do you see him being used uh, during his freshman season at Purdue? He's obviously talented. Uh, he's going to be a big part of what we do. The, bit, the most thing that I've been impressed by him is just his work ethic. Um, he gets up early. Uh, he does extra work, whether it's getting on the treadmill, uh, Stairmaster, you know, getting his cardio, getting his conditioning up. He puts in extra time in the gym, whether it's free throws, jump shots, post moves. And then when we get to practice, uh, he's very competitive. Uh, there's not been a day so far where you can't say he's worked hard or he's brought it. You know, because sometimes guys get in, a, get in a little rut where they, you know, there's one day here where they're not as good or they don't try as hard. He is, brings it every day. When you take a look at the number of post players you guys have, the size that you guys have, from what I read, you're kind of a defensive guy. So does that excite you, knowing that you have a lot of rim-protecting options? Yeah, without a doubt. It, it should excite our guards because uh, that means they can get out and pressure a little bit more, knowing that we have A.J. back there and we have Isaac back there. And, and so from that standpoint, uh, we, we've got to just carry on what we did towards the latter part of last year and from a defensive standpoint, because I think we have some really good weapons on offense. We've got different guys that are going to give matchup problems. So I think offensively, uh, we're, we're going to be okay. Defensively, we got to we got to still, you know, take that from day one and not worry about so much our offense. But let's let, let's get back to making it really difficult on teams to score against us. Final question: You got Northwestern Ohio on Sunday. What are you looking What are you looking for in that game? And then really in the first part of the season for the feeling out process of Purdue what are you looking to establish during the first month for Purdue well it's always it's always just execution and I know it's coach talk mm -hmm. but it really from a standpoint of executing whether they're in zone whether they're in man they're going to zone us probably a lot which I think we're going to see more this year mm -hmm. so we've got to be ready to attack that we also have to be ready to people pressure us and and trap us full court we got to be prepared to handle that because with the shot clock being a little less, five seconds less. I think people are going to maybe try to, you know, trap us or get us out of our half-court offense, so that we can't get it inside. Uh, so I think we got to work on those things and just, you know, being able to. No matter who you're playing, you got to do the right thing. Carry over what we do in practice. Mm -hmm. Carry it over to the game when there's 15,000 in there. All right. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? No, thank you. We're just glad for all the support here in this area and. And uh, we know we got Ray Fell and Caleb, and uh, Fort Wayne's been good to us, so uh, we hope that continues.